Yo, what's up, Hunter Nation? It's Friday. Well, yeah. for some people. Well, for, for some, most of us, it's Friday. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're kind of on the last part of the time zone here, yeah. you know? Most people are already into Saturday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, Cyclone and ABEC back here to do a live reaction to Hunter. Hunter! We at it again. Now, Hunter Nation. We're going to 386. Now, this is called Hypothesis. The the name implies this will be a very dialogue heavy chapter potentially. So bear with us if it is, and we yeah. have to read a lot of stuff. Absolutely. So we're gonna make the most of it here. We're back at Sarah's room again. Mm. So let's go. Let's go. There's no blood traces, and there's no luminol. Yeah, that's the sound. It looks like it says luminol. Reflection on you, even. Re- reaction. The wait a minute. The canceled, the canceled death. Cancel. Yo, was that his ability? The canceled death. Hang on, we just yo, that, stop. We remember. So last chapter, we were theorizing that Sarah Nitch avoided death somehow because the worm imagery had a bullet in the head. In the head, right? And he was fine. Some people are saying it's a doppelganger. Yeah. Something like that. There's all these theories out there. Let's see what happens. The conclusion I've come to is that you didn't shoot the prince. So then, are you saying that wasn't reality? All the blood that splattered out of the prince's head and on the floor. As he lay there, his mouth and fingers were still twitching. And I could look at that. And I could hear the, the croaking from his throat. The prince was still alive. So then, what I thought I saw wasn't reality. It was an illusion that the prince, the prince was showing me. Yo, yo, and you think you're great? Yo. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. If this man can already control illusions. Illusions. Oh my. Wow. But it's a fact that I had a gun, or, or is it? Come on, Theta. You, if if he can make you think you had a gun, like come on, that's ridiculous. How far does the truth go? She is thinking long and hard about all this. Where does the truth end? And where does the illusion begin? Yo, you know what this reminds me of? No. And this takes a lot. Like, this is where I see Naruto get this. Genjutsu. Get the whole, this illusion, creating illusions in your mind. Oh, yeah. This is like a genjutsu. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Wait. This is the second floor. This is. This is where Illumi was. No, no, stop. Whoa. whoa, whoa. I was I was thinking that Mizai Storm might get involved with the hypothesis chapter. Mm-hmm. But let's see if we're right. Good morning. Justice Administration. Oh, damn. Okay. Here we go. Ninth and ninth and day. Wow. Were you able to get any sleep? There's Melody. Melody's in the Justice Center. And then there's that guy who visited her. I forget his name. Melody says, how much longer until I can go back to my bodyguard duty? Man, she's really oh, motivated to do yeah. this. And I, I, I'm so sorry. The guy who visited her a couple chapters back. Glasses guy. Who knows? That depends on how much you cooperate. Shut up. According to his will, the current conclusion we've arrived at is that the hunter, Keeney, acted alone in trying to help the princes escape. Damn, wow. he shot himself in the head, oh, yeah. bro. I mean, but I've also been considering other possibilities. Oh, come on. Many of the other princes were so moved by your performance, and they were drawn back to their own rooms. Oh, come on. Just to have a drink and shut up. <laughs> I wonder if any among them might be thinking the same idea as I am. I see. I'm being restrained here in order to protect me from the dangerous princes. That's what that's what Melody's thinking. Melody, yeah. Like they're having her a restraining order to to keep her away from the prince's ceremony. Right. First, will you tell me the details of your your movements and actions on the day of the incident? Afterwards, I'll have various questions for you. And then Melody thinks it seems true. That the Justice Department has made, uh, what the hell does it say? Where? Just Th- them issues. 
has made the, the Justice Department, Justice Department has, made has made themuses the, made themselves independent made themselves from the independent royalty. from the royalty. Thank you. What about Prince Kacho and Fugetsu? I'm also having them come here. Whoa! Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone's talking about when Kacho's Nimbis gets discovered. Uh-oh. If any Nen user sees that thing, they're going to be like, what is that? Yeah. Because it's just a totally a Nen creation as yeah. far as we know. Apparently, the hunter Kini forced them into this little escape plan of his. But apart from his will, there's no other evidence that dispels any of the doubts that the two princes actually wanted to escape themselves. Well, yeah. But probably proof of the contrary, proving that will be difficult, but I have a rather persistent personality. Oh, this guy's a piece of, This guy reminds you of that asshole at the office yep. who always wants to know where you are. Where you are every time. Where are you? Where are you? Where, where are were you? you five minutes ago? Oh, my lord. But I have a rather persistent personality. God. All the facts and questions. Melody says, thank you. Probably thinking inside, I hope this guy trips down the stairs and breaks his neck. I said, what is it? I'm going to use, I'm going this, to use time. this time. I've got to I think of what to do, to do next. next. Wait a minute, who's this? Wait a minute. What is that? Is that just the, the justice office? It looks like the office. Whoa! His pulse is stable, and there are... No, no, no. No, 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 wait, no, no, wait, no, no. Wait. Is this Leorio? Stop! Stop! No! Is it time to get some Leorio, please? Hey, look, yo, hold His on. His pulse is stable. No. No. <laughs> I thought it was the Medicare. Oh, set a heart. Yo! Uh, poor Leorio. He gets no screen time. Go and <laughs> with just a Dang, shout out. Oh, Poor Leorio. Leorio man. Oh, I was going to go crazy. It's been so long since you've seen yeah. Leorio. I miss that dude. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is, um, uh, isn't this Hulkenberg's body? Hulkenberg, the, the, yeah. the body that took over. This is the bodyguard that they. Is that Benjamin there too? No, so here's how it works. This is how Hawkenberg's ability works. When he launches his arrow, in order to launch it, he has to sacrifice the soul. Well, it's not sacrificing the soul. It's transferring a follower's soul into the target. Okay. And then taking their will away and instead putting that person's will into the target. Target, okay. Meaning the target is is basically killed. Killed, yeah. For all we know. Now they're, they have this body here. They're trying to study it. And we got Ben's guard here. In other words, Sundori has been possessed by Shikaku's soul. Mm. But from a sense perspective, nothing has changed with his body. He has his Halkenberg son. Then what has happened to the consciousness of Shikaku, the first prince's private soldier? Everyone thinks that, that Halkenberg sent his consciousness into Ben's guard. Mm. Perhaps it swapped with him. Or perhaps it's flown off somewhere in the same vessel? Halkenberg says, let's try that theory. Now we're getting a breakdown of Halkenberg's ability, which is pretty OP as it stands. We don't, hopefully now we find out all the details. Here we go. If I shoot a target with my bow and arrow, someone from among us will have their soul transferred into the target. Yeah. And control them. Mm. That's Yeah. If that happens, then what happens to a... or Shikaku's will, his soul? There are four possibilities. Uh-oh, Togashi. We have... Wow. We have an outline here. Okay. It's like a <laughs> diagram. <laughs> We in page five. Bro. Okay, here we go. So there are four possibilities. So let's let's state the facts. If he shoots an arrow, which is given, you know, one of the men, right, and it's randomly selected, it is not due to the ability. Well, or well, which is it random? That, that see, random, random question, mark. question mark. Okay, summoner. The first, by. the first opportunity. 
Chicago. Chica- what happens to the target's soul after the arrow has pierced them? The four options are death. death. Swap places by his, what? Samoridi's body. Swapped into the summoner. So basically, that wouldn't be great either. Because that, because that, the target soul would be brought back into his followers, his followers, into the person that was utilized. Co-inhabits Shikaku, so a dual personality, or move somewhere else. <gasps> Or quote that one would be some nuts. If someone else, if it just went to some random person, yo, that would, be that would be ridiculous. Yo, that would be crazy. As of the current point, we have no evidence to support or disprove any of the four theories. If we take theory three, for instance, and assume that Chikaku's soul remains within this body the dual personality theory. Then at this point in time, Shikaku's personality and characteristics have pushed Shu, uh, Sumidori out. Mm. And his consciousness is in a dormant state. Dormant state. Because again, this is Sumidori. This is the guard that was apparently transferred with the arrow. It would be difficult to test or prove one or four, but... As far as proving two, if any changes occur within his brain waves, then we can prove that someone has entered his body. So they're doing a brain scan to check the body that's not being responsive right now to see if there's any activity. Yep. Otherwise, it's just a corpse that we don't know. And and, and Halkenberg really wants to test this. Wait! Hold on. Stop. What the hell? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait! Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got That's it. his awoken ability? That's Hawkenberg's ability? Whoa! Yo, stop! It's almost religious looking. All these people just appeared in the background. It's a painting, but I feel like it symbolizes his ability. That, if that's what his ability is kind of like... Yo, man! But what is this picture saying to you, though? That's what I'm. That's what I'm you getting know? at. Hey, Hunter Nation, let's talk about this. Page six. page six. Let Let us know in the comments below. Definitely. It's a painting, but the imagery could not be clearer. Correct. Right. I mean, whoa. Let's see what he says. <clears throat> I believe that this is an ability for me to survive and win. This is just more. Oh, yeah. Wants to be number one. He's driven now Ooh. to be number one. Okay. <clears throat> now, hang on. Before we even... <clears throat> now, what, what, was, what was the chapter called? <coughs> Hypothesis. So, there we go. There's your answer. Hypothesis well, is... Not about- only that. What does Halkenberg's Nen Beast do? It marks people with a feather that inc- improves their morality right. towards Halkenberg right. and, and loyalty toward him. Um, if he's right, I have no doubt that the loyalty counter will go up. Right. And, and the bond will become stronger. Let's see. Let's see what he says here. So there's the idea. They think that the soul... that So, again, that's representing his guard in the Benjamin's guard. Benjamin's guard. Yeah. In, uh, and, and so we're really Im- imagining this guy with that face. But it's really him. Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, those are dolphins? Those are dolphins. De- so, it looks like... Those are dolphins, yeah. flying fish, flying dolphins outside of the boat. I guess Togashi was doing that to show flight or growth or or hunting. Hunting. I, I mean, there's some imagery there. All right, he's erasing the whiteboard. Bro, Togashi, please don't get into mathematics. Oh, please. yeah. He's going to go Togashi, oh, yo, you're the coder, man. you got to help. And it's, it's, we're only on page seven. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more to go. Here we go. We can think of it in tw- Oh, my gosh. Twelve parts. I think you all will be doing this on your own. Some homework. Uh, there are twelve potential parts to this ability. The hypothesis is a 12-piece hypothesis. Whew. Just for a, a mind control arrow? Oh, my God. 
God, Togashi, Togashi. All right. Of course, these are merely my intuitive theories. Yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. The mechanics of Nen abilities. He doesn't really know all the details of Nen abilities, even though he now has one. So, if possible, I would get information from a Nen specialist. Uh oh. You know who that is. Who's that? Well, it's funny. I mean, if we're talking just princes, the most Nen known is Benjamin. Benjamin, yeah. There ain't no way Ben's telling him anything about Nen. No. Then, the second choice is his best friend, Serenich. Serenich. Oh, my God. If these two work together, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's game over. But, for this, I will absolutely require the ability to check for and confirm Nen abilities. Can you do this for me, Simudori, who is his guard in Ben's body... He's gonna spy on Benjamin! Let's go! He's gonna use Benny, I'm telling you. Here we go. I'd be glad to help! Alright, here we go. Ten Loserous! No! This is it the troop! Oh, let's go! Stop! Alright, here we go. Okay, okay. It's back, yo. Yo, 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 no, it's Bacho. It's Bacho. And yo. Yo, man, dude. The rumbling, dude, the rumbling aurora is back. Huh. The rumbling aura. Okay. That's probably Serenich. Let's be, let's be real. It's coming from next door. door. Wait, 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 wait. Ninth Prince Halkenberg. Yes. I don't know what ability it is, but it's definitely bad news. Yo, his digs are nice. Don't you like, yo. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, the flat screen TV. Like, this dude has it all. Alright, here we go. Alright. Ding dong. Who's there? Bacho asks, it's Prince Benjamin's private army. And they say, I haven't heard anything about this. Ask him what he wants. And Bacho ain't taking this shit lightly. He's like, stop him at the door. Oh! Okay. They're going to ask Bacho about Nen. Okay, state your business. Yep, that's actually Halkenberg guard, not not Benny's guard. That's the possessed guard. Long live Prince <laughs> Benjamin! <laughs> this douche. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, hey, but, wait a minute. What? Hey! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I know. What? Dang. <gasps> Did he just gain control of himself? Oh. What is the matter? There was a gunshot from the corridor. It was probably the first prince's private soldier. Oh my. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He gained control of himself. He gained control of himself, didn't he? So he killed himself. Oh my. Guess who just got his power? Ben Benjamin. He got the card ability. That's probably what that means. He, if, 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 if it's what we think. If it's what we think, it means that Ben just got the card ability. Uh, which okay. could be very powerful in the right condition. Oh my god. Are you serious? Or is it a fake out? What do you think? Let's see. The rumbling has stopped. What the hell is going on? Wait, so hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> it's such a coincidence that ends up happening when a aurora is growing. So or, or. or has grown. So what what's going on here? Is this some kind of mind games again, or is this Benjamin? We're back to Benjamin. Shukaku has committed suit. I called it. Yes, yes. Wow. Without a doubt, it seems to be through somebody's ability from Ninth Prince Halkenberg's camp. Man. Oh my, man. Halkenberg. Oh, it seems he's suddenly become a person of importance. At the present moment, he may be the most dangerous man now. Summon... Summon... Kanjido back from room 10-7, the guard. Have him recall to us the details. 
<laughs> Betty boy, let's go, Betty boy. He's not out yet. And Prince Halkenberg, he's back up. What is your what is your affiliation and ID number? Karapika! Okay. It was over there, wasn't it? It definitely wasn't on the even numbered side. They all felt the net. Around nine, seven. Yo, Halkenberg is the center of attention now. Can we exclude third Prince Zhang Li? Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't the aura of the third prince's guardian spirit beast. As, as for the people that can sense that at all, they're just going to have to take him at his word. He's definitely very much cautious and on his guard. But is he really that dangerous? A massive amount of energy seemingly exploded. Uh, the, the painting did... did it meant so that. It it's meant just something. a mass of spirit, like and people, and, and then suddenly disappear. These are phenomena that often occur when an emitter. Of course, he's, he's an emitter. emitter. He's, he's shooting emitter. an he's arrow, arrow. Yeah. passing through a physical obstacle or wall. Should not be difficult. Who is attacking, and with what kind of ability? Karapika thinks the most dangerous thing of all is the fact that these and are still unknown. unknown. Yeah. Completely. That may be so, but there's only one week left. Wait a minute. One week left until what? We only got the second banquet? Wait a minute. Is this before the banquet? This is before. This has to be No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. No, no, no. It wasn't. No, no, no. One week left. Everyone's beginning to have reservations about continuing the same training. They're doubting whether they will really be able to learn Nen through this. And Karapika says, I plan to move on to the next stage tomorrow. Perhaps it's time to begin... Wait, divination? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, the color of the water changed. The leaf is spinning. But is this an ability? This shows that my ability is a specialist type. This is known as the water divination, and it's a method of discerning your Nen type. Okay. Hang on a second. Okay. But he's, yeah, that's right. we saw that before. Right, right, right. But he's doing it to his guys his in, guys, in yeah. Camp 1014. But if you cannot generate enough aura, then you will not be able to test yourself this way. But there have been several members that seem to be capable. Legolas? What is this is that Lord of the Rings? Lake? Legolas. Yo. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, yo. Legolas. Shut up. Well, come on. You're the most capable of learning. Give it a try. Okay. Oh, there's Bava Mania. We haven't seen Bava in ages, yo. He's Ben's guard who can use the end circle, mm. the big end circle. He is good. By choosing someone unexpected like her... He's able to appeal to them showing that Nen does not discriminate against sex or body type. It will dispel the hostility from these muscle-headed morons. <laughs> and they will hop back into the training with renewed passion. But, Karapika says, your ability type is normally something that you mustn't ever, ever let anyone else find out. Of course. Yeah. The, the, the whole point that's of the game. That's the whole point of the game, man. It's yeah. a game of chess. Do you think a manipulator is going to tell you that they're a manipulator? No. Of course not. It doesn't matter quite as much for me as my type is a specialist, which doesn't give any information. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. He has his scarlet eyes on right now. Right. That's the only... So he's draining his life to do this shit? Well... That's the other theory. People still aren't sure. Is Scarlet Eye... We don't, we don't really don't know what Scarlet Eyes really do, though. Do we? Like the well, we form. know that it allows him to use Emperor Time, which is a specialist ability which drains his life by one hour for every second that it's available, that's active. Interesting. I mean, there's a chance he's draining his life right now just to give this lesson through. Right. 
Once you learn your opponent's type, you can gain insight and foresight on all their further actions. Yes. Is the same level as knowing? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors. Bro, come on. Where's it going? John, yeah. keep yeah. going. <laughs> and my computer lost memory at that very point, guys. Sorry that there's not the rest of the recording to show you. But basically, let's just cover a few key things in the chapter. Halkenberg is making everybody sweat, including Benjamin, who basically admits if that's really his power, he may be the number one threat now. So Benjamin needs to get powers from his guards, or he needs to devise a way to compromise Halkenberg, however he might do that. Uh, then we also have Serednich at the end saying, I love two-faced women. Who is that? Theta. As now we see that Theta has this growth appearing on her face after uh, being infected by the Nen Beast curse, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, she's now turning into a monstrosity. And Halkenberg says, I love two-faced women. I immediately thought of Batman and Two-Face with that. So... Theta could actually have just gotten some sort of power boost if she turns into like some human hybrid creature. It might actually make her more powerful. That would actually be kind of cool to see Theta become somewhat of a threat. Kind of like how Palm became an ant from uh, Poof's abilities. So I feel like it's a similar transformation with Theta. She's becoming this monstrosity. She's losing her humanity slowly but surely, and Serenich continues to grow stronger. If, again, Serenich and Halkenberg somehow work together, Benjamin could be toppled. Benjamin could be toppled. Uh, Camilla is still, I mean, I think she's somewhat relevant, but her ability is really only usable for the unsuspecting. So as long as she keeps that secret, she can really get her revenge on almost anybody. So I think Camilla's going to have one key moment in this arc. I feel like the other princes who are tied more to the Mafia, you got Luzerus uh, potentially getting involved with the mob. And then you also have Serenich with Morena. And you know who that opens the door for? Possibly Hisoka. If Hisoka is with Morena, as some people are saying, then this is where the man could make his move. And then the troop, if they catch wind of this through the mob or anything, you know, they're trying to find this guy. So if, if all the trails do lead to floor one, you can guarantee a war will break out on floor one and nobody will be safe. And that even includes... The spider, they're going into this, this chaos on floor one, and they don't know the powers of the other people on that floor. Even if the spider can fodderize 95, 96% of all people on that floor, there are certain abilities that in the scenario are really OP. Look at Silent Majority. Look at Silent Majority. Just as an example, as long as the user is not discovered... And he's within a certain radius. I believe that's the condition. He can kill somebody in four seconds. Four seconds! A completely undetectable killing technique. You got Camilla. One hit kill as far as we know if you kill her. You got Serednich. Holy shit, what is that? And then you got Halkenberg with his men by his side. He can take out any of the spiders. With that bow and arrow. That thing is broken as shit. If, for example, uh, Phaeton said, hey, you know, I'm going to kill this guy. He better do it quickly. If there's any moment where he's seen or spotted, it's game over. So there's a lot going on here on floor one. And I think all the, the pieces are coming together. It's really Morena that I'm really hyped about. And... Is she on floor one? And if so, what's that going to do uh, for the mob's involvement with the princes? Oh my god, man. There's so much going on right now in this arc. It's really crazy. But if we just reel it back a little bit, the big things are Halkenberg is scaring everybody shitless. Benjamin's getting a little bit concerned now. Uh, Serenich is a freak of nature. And he is learning like perfect Zets control now. 
by the time this is over, the dude's going to be a full-fledged Zen master. I, I said this from jump. I said this guy has the most advanced aura we've ever seen in the series. Even more impressive in some respects than Pito's aura. And if you remember Pito's aura, that shit was nuts in terms of raw power and uh, ability. But Serenich's mastery of Nen itself, it, he's learning it so fast that it is really mind mind altering. And he his aura, I will I will stick by this theory. I feel as though his aura is somehow doing this. For him, I feel like his aura, he's so messed up that his aura naturally awoke in life due to his crazy, crazy personality. And it somehow became able to react to Serenich's deepest, darkest wishes. I feel like his Nen is actually capable of doing that without him even really trying. It just will. It's like if somebody... You, you have one guy training for a boxing match, and he's training for 10 years, and then you have another guy who his brain just was wired for boxing, and in two years' time, he's already far superior to the guy who's been practicing all his life. Just that natural talent. I feel like Serenich is on a whole different level. His aura is just naturally gifted, and with it, he is going to become an absolute freak. Uh, the only thing he doesn't have that we understand now is advanced application in combat scenarios. But it looks like he's going to fight his bodyguard. So it's like, yo, we, we're very excited to see what this guy can do. So guys, that's where we are. The chapter was really good, actually. Got a lot of build up to uh, seeing different perspectives and seeing how the events on floor one are unfolding and how Halkenberg is scaring everybody. This dude's aura is off the chain. When he activates it, it feels like there's an army in his room, you know? They can't even they can't even exactly pinpoint where it's originating, but it feels like it's around room seven to nine. That's what's crazy about it. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the live reaction. We'll catch you next week.